In this video, I'm going to go through uh, three examples of a flooding system. One is the simplest duct system. And then this simple duct system actually has a flaw where if the room below it is flooded, the, the, the room above it will also get flooded. And then there's this other system where instead of using a duct, you're using a hatch. The reason why you would want to do this is if you're playing multiplayer or you're playing campaign and you don't want to edit your submarine, you should be able to modify your existing submarine with all of this. But it's a little bit complicated. So let's go for a demo of what this looks like. Uh, this lever will just turn on the water from that pump. And as you can see, the water detector is detected and the duct is open. Simple, but one problem with this system is when you when the bottom room is flooding and it's completely flooded and then the top room just has a little bit of a flood so I'm gonna flip that on slightly then water is coming from below and going all the way up top so that's a bit of a flaw in that system let's show how this system fixes that flaw so again we're gonna flood the bottom room then we're gonna close it and then a little bit of water is going to reach the upper room. And as you can see, this duct is not open and water is not filling this whole room. And then let's uh, do a demo of the final one where you have a hatch where you're able to go up and down this hatch like normal. But when flood is detected, the hatch opens automatically and then when flood goes away, hatch closes. Um, there's one shortcoming in this hatch system where I didn't install the bottom um, detector like I did in this previous room to my left. Um, so you'll have to install that yourself. So let's go through in detail. Um, let's go through in detail what they what these guys do or, and how they're hooked up. So this water detector is connected to the signal out of that. So let's, let's remove that for confusion. This water detector is connected to just the set state of the duct. Very simple. Let's go through this other one. Again, let's disconnect, let's disconnect that to lessen the confusion. Uh, I do this for debugging purposes. All right, so this water detector, the state out is connected to this end and my uh, and if the input is uh, both ones it will send out an output of one if the input is both uh, if one of them is a zero then the output will be a zero this is something that you'll have to change this false output to zero because by default false output is nothing but uh, you'll have to change that yourself and you're able to change this during a, a game so you don't have to be in the submarine editor okay so for this end to send out a stream of ones into this duct, into the set state of the duct, the end needs to get a signal from this left detector and from the right detector. Now the right detector, I just negate whatever's coming in from here and I turn it from true to false or false to true, which means if this bottom room is flooded, this sends out a stream of ones and then the ones get turned into zeros and now the zero is sent right here, which means this duct will never open. Now let's go for this super complicated case. Uh, I think this is too over-engineered and there's probably a way to get rid of some of these elements from it. Um, but let's, let's go through it anyway. Uh, where do we start? Let's start with the hatch and how this is wired up. Actually, this looks super complicated, so let's not start with the hatch. Uh, let's start with this water detector. So the water detector sends out a signal into three locations. Um, when it detects water, so a bunch of ones are going to be sent, this um, OR component is going to get hit. And the OR component, it only takes in one item and then sends out one item over here. The reason I do this is because when this water detector sends out a zero, because when it ha doesn't have any water, it will send out a zero right here. And you need to, to send out a zero. If you if you set this to null, like that, uh, the, the whole system won't work. 
Um, so I don't want this water detector connected directly into this hatch because if it's sending out a stream of zeros, then the hatch will, um, will be overridden whenever there's no flood. And you won't be able to use this, this button to go uh, uh, to open or close it. It'll just stay if it's sending out zero. I think zero means it's closed or open. Look at my notes. Zero means it's closed, which means this hatch will stay closed. This is why I needed this or component over here so that only the one will be sent over here. So whenever a flooding starts, a stream of ones gets sent to this hatch and it opens. Now, all of this other stuff is here because I need the hatch to close when the flooding stops. Now, if you're modifying your own submarine and you don't mind manually having to close this hatch yourself, then you don't need all of this other stuff. But if you want it to close automatically, this is what you'll have to do. So this water detector is connected to the knot, which negates it. And then the knot is connected to this relay, which means if water is, if this whole area is flooded, this relay, this, the, the signal between these two gets severed. So if the room is flooded, there is no signal. If the room is not flooded, then signal can go through over here. So let's talk about the signal going through. The water detector is connected to this delay. And this is actually what I needed to, to build and then, uh, to, to make the whole system work. The delay, there's a one second delay where um, water detector comes in to the delay and then delay just sends back whatever uh, the, the signal of the water detector is back into this relay. And then I grab an end. Why is, I think the highlighting might be wrong here. This end comes from the relay component. Oh, and then and the door. All right. So um, the, the delayed signal. So let's say it just flooded and then it stopped. Now there's a one second delay. So this relay still uh, is, is now sending out a one, a stream of ones through here. And then when we're sending out a one, we're going to uh, receive it in one side of this end statement and the end, the, the false is zero here. We're gonna receive a delayed signal on, on here. And then we only want to close the door if the door is, um, yeah, we, we only want to toggle the state. So we don't want to send a stream of values into this door because we want this uh, switch to work. So we only want to toggle it. But we only want to toggle the door if the door is already um, open, which is why we needed this, this end over here. So this uh, state out of this gets sent into the end. That's, that's what that's for. So that... Yeah, we're only going to toggle it closed if it's already opened. And that's how that works.